Um, so hi friends, as we all know that food is an integral part of any organism that is present on this planet and we humans are no different in this aspect. And if you are someone who is interested in food as well as in science, then I think that a degree in food science or food technology would be something that would interest you for a longer career and a happier career. So uh, in today's talk, we'll be looking at the best colleges in India for pursuing food science or food technology. So what is food science or food technology? So before we go into the colleges, we'll look at what is the difference between the food science and food technology. So food science is the study of physical, biological, as well as chemical makeup of the food and how to process, preserve and package the food products. They use scientific principles to understand how food behaves and how to create new products or to improve the existing products. In food technology, it is a branch of the science that deals with the techniques involved in the production, processing, preservation, packaging, labeling, quality management and distribution of the food products. In food technology, it involves techniques and processes that are used to transform the raw material into the packaged food. So what exactly do you study in food science or food technology? There are some core areas to be studied in both the sciences. The first one is you will have a detailed study about the chemistry of all the food products. The second one would be the safety of the food, whether the food is edible, whether it, it, it is in the proper state of uh, edibility. And the next one would be the microbiology. What are the organisms or the microorganisms that is present in the food? Is it in the quantity that is not harmful to human beings? Or is it in the quantity that is not harmful to the environment or animals? All the detail about the microorganisms related to food will be studied. The third one would be food engineering. It involves every process from packaging to, to transportation. The fourth one is food processing technologies. Uh, once the raw material of like if if it's an, if we take the example of some vegetables or fruits as a raw material it is fine but the shelf life is very low and if we convert them into a packaged form or into some other material for for which the shelf life is longer then it is of much more uh, use in terms of money so those processing technologies for that lot of things come into the picture like which temperature the food has to be stored, which moisture the food has to be stored, in which packaging the food has to be stored. All those food processing technologies that will be studied and the th uh, fifth one is the product development. Which product you want to develop from the raw material. If it's a tomato, then you want to develop it into a ketchup, you want to develop into into a uh, squash, you want to just give it out as a, uh, a processed form uh, like some uh, cold storage to tomatoes or which form you want to develop the product that comes in the product development. There is one other Thing that is studied in detail when it comes to food science and food technology that is the sensory analysis. So who all can study food science or food technology? Any person who has cleared science stream with the subjects physics, chemistry and biology or if a person has studied the subject with the combination of physics, chemistry and mathematics or not the science stream, but they have done home science. All these three people, they are eligible to study food science or food technology. For post-graduation, candidates who possess a bachelor's degree in either physics, mathematics, biology, chemistry or food science or the bachelor of technology or BE degree in food technology with the minimum qualification. Generally, the minimum qualification for any university for post-graduation is 50% to 60%. It differs from the uh, university norms. So there are few entrance exams for the food technology or the food science, uh, food science degrees. Few of them they have uh, for every university there is a difference in the entrance exams. Few of them have a common entrance exam and few of them they have the entrance exam only specifically for that particular university. These are the famous and the most applied common entrance exams. The first one is JEE main the, uh, that is joint entrance exam. 
the second one is west bengal joint entrance examination the third one is conducted by icar that is indian council for agricultural research they also conduct an exam all india entrance examination for admission for undergraduate it is a different exam and for post graduate it is a different exam the next one is gate gate stands for graduate aptitude test in engineering what um, the next exam is m c a e r c e t this exam is conducted by maharashtra agriculture universities examination board and this after you write this exam you are applicable for undergraduate courses uh, in uh, bachelor bsc food sciences if it is in the maharashtra the next next exam is tancet it stands for tamil nadu common entrance test after applying this exam and clearing this exam you can apply for the universities that are there in tamil nadu so what are the job op opportunities after doing food science or food technology you can go into the r and d either as a food scientist or a food technologist food chemist or as a product development specialist you can even go into the quality control and quality assurance as a food inspector or as a toxicologist food processing also you can go as the specialist or you can even go as a manager in lot of private companies you can even go into the sales and marketing side and there are other options like you can become a dietitian nutritionist animal nutritionist and fitness and diet counselor so these are the basic uh, particulars if you want to go into the food science or food technology generally you can do under graduation and then you can persuade pursue post graduation either it can be uh, mtech or msc and then if you are really interested in pursuing further then you can go for the doctorate so the duration for btech in food technology will be 4 years and for bsc in food science it will be 3 years for masters either it's uh, mtech or msc both of them they will take 2 years to be completed the examination type in all the universities of india it will be the semester 1 the admission process it is most of the university they take the marks of 12th and based on that they make a score sheet and uh, whichever rank you get based on that you can choose the colleges and some of the premium colleges or the universities they prefer the entrance exam marks so the annual fee it ranges from 1 lakh to 5 lakhs and the average salary that you will get as a fresher would be 4 to 13 so the top job profiles if you do food technology or food science it will be quality manager therapist nutritional therapist or as a product development specialist and the top recruiters are there are a lot of companies like uh, britannia pepsico godrej so uh, when it, when we look at the syllabus part there are some a minor differences when you take the subject of btech or bsc btech food uh, food technology and bsc is for food science so these are the different uh, subjects that you will be studying if you take btech food technology and these are the different subjects that you will be studying if you go for bsc food technology or bsc food science so uh, before we go into the undergraduate colleges these are the best post graduation institutes in india the first one is national institute of food technology entrepreneurship and management the second one is iit kharagpur one the third one is national institute of technology that is based on roorkela the fourth one is institute of chemical technology mumbai fifth one would be indian institute of food processing technology tanjore and the last one would be cftri central food technological research institute this is this is the most premium institute followed by the other ones so that is for the post graduation but before you go for the post graduation you'll have to do the undergraduate courses for the undergraduation uh, i have given a list of 15 universities that are supposed to be the top colleges in india the first one would be iit iit kharagpur then iit guwahati there is one other in uh, south that is anna university then there is national institute of technology roorkela jadavpur kolkata institute of chemical technology mumbai amity university noida then there is billa institute of technology ranchi srm institute in tamil nadu punjab university in chandigarh and chandigarh university that is based out of mohali lovely professional university in punjab sulini university in himachal 
and that is National Institute of Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management in Haryana and Guru Nanak Institute of Technology in Kolkata. These 15 colleges are the top colleges in India. And I have also given a list of 30 different colleges. Like once you uh, go through the list of the colleges, you will get a better idea which college you want to go based on your preferences. So how do we decide that these colleges are the best colleges in India? There are a lot of criteria to decide that this is the best college. Like uh, about we have like 200 to 250 food science and food technology colleges in India. Among them, those 15 have been uh, cited as the fifth, uh, top best or the 15 best colleges in India based on these four main criteria. The first one is the faculty. Faculty that is provided in these universities, they are well versed in their uh, in their subjects and they, they also turn out to be really good mentor and guide to the students. The second one is exposure to various important as well as modern fields. This is very important uh, to be cited as the best college as you need to have different fields in the same thing. Be it food science or food technology, you need to have the basic or the oldest method as well as you need to be able to understand and learn about the new skills that have developed in the modern fields. The third one, that is the job opportunity. After doing the courses and learning a lot of skills and uh, developing yourself, the job that will make a very big difference for the college to be cited as the best. So when it comes to the job opportunities, you have a lot of multinational opportunity, multinational company opportunities like Amul, Nestle, ITC, Britannia. And there are various students from these premium universities who have gone into the R&D side also within the country as well as outside the country. The main thing that differentiates the colleges from the other col these colleges from the other colleges is you get a very premium and quality education. There is also extraordinary faculty support. You have astonishing placements and also there is a healthy and ragging free complex where the students can study and they can have a very peaceful development academic wise as well as the overall development of the student will be really good. So uh, this is the list of other universities. First 15, the top 15 colleges I have already shown. This is like 10, 10 other colleges followed by 10 more and 10 more. So basically I have given 15 universities plus 30 more universities. So you can go through the whole list and based on your preferences, you can choose the colleges. Thank you.